I have an idea and I don't have anybody to talk to about it. As a solopreneur for this brand, I can't necessarily afford coaching and masterminds and these online communities, subscriptions, all that. I really have to figure out what resources I can use at this moment. And some of you may be right there with me, like how do I get this idea and kind of talk it out? Like the people around me don't really get it. I could tell my vision and they're like good, but not really helping or some people just don't see it. But now we have technology that is here to help us with those situations. And what I'm referring to is ChatGPT. Let's try ChatGPT. Let's see what all the hype is about. Is it really what it says it is? Why is everybody obsessed with it? Honestly, I really just need to talk out my ideas with something that already has facts, something that already has proven blueprints, already has everything that I may need and can just go back and forth with me. So in this video, I'm gonna take you with me on the three steps of how I brainstorm with ChatGPT from building a brand from scratch. So the very first one is the core values because we gotta know what we stand on. We gotta know what we represent so other people can feel connected with it and be like, yo, I stand on that too. I could really connect with this brand. The second one is the product, right? I want to come out with hats first. Right, so of course, this is one of the examples of the Lions Behavior hat. I got another one, we'll put that on the screen. So I wanna figure out a unique way of how to get the hats out and it not just be a hat, right? Like I want it to be special, I want it to be memorable, I want it to be something that adds access to it. So I'm gonna have ChatGPT break that down with me. The third step is brainstorming about community. So I got two parts to that. We're gonna do a creed, right? Because now that we've brainstormed about the core values, how can we turn into something that people can recite? People are proud of saying. And then as well as taking people through a challenge, like a transformational challenge, like from zero to 30 days, who are you? And as a community, we're going to do it together. And so I have this great idea, but I need to break it down with ChatGPT. So let's get into that. And my hope is that after this video, that you know how to talk to ChatGPT a little bit better and not just be like, give me 10 ideas to do this and give me five titles for this and tell me a marketing plan. Like really have a strong conversation because I really treat it like a human. And so hopefully this can give you some ideas. So let's get into the first step. So I read this book called Primal Branding that has truly helped me think of branding in a different way to really create the foundation of a brand, which honestly, I don't think I've ever done. And so now that we have Lion's Behavior, I wanna talk about the core values. I wanna get that really solid because a brand has to stand on something, right? So in my last video, we came up with 10 core values for Lion's Behavior, which if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna put it up here so you can click and have a better understanding about Lion's Behavior and where we're at, right? Now, the community said, that's too much. Which to be honest, I agree to. I don't know if I can remember 10 off top, but so we're reducing it. We'll probably help anybody remember these core, uh, these core values. So we're coming up with five. And so I'm gonna brainstorm with ChatGPT to figure out which is the strongest core values and to see what it comes up with. Okay, so we figured out the uh, core values, right? Um, some people are saying shortening it like maybe three or five. Um, we originally picked 10. What do, what do you think, based off you understanding about Lion's behavior, do we keep the 10 or should we break it down to three or five? Uh, what, what makes more sense? Given the essence of Lion's behavior, keeping it impactful is key. We could focus on three to five core values to make it more memorable and easier for people to rally behind. It's about quality over quantity. What do you think about narrowing it down to the most powerful values? What do you think are the top three most impactful one for those who work behind the scenes? Um, but are I think bold is is definitely going to stay one, but from your understanding of the brand. All right, looking at Lion's behavior, I'd say boldness, 
authenticity, and creativity stand out as the most impactful. They really capture the essence of the brand, emphasizing a fearless approach, true self-expression, and the drive to create something unique. What do you think? Yeah, bold. Right. Al- yeah, I agree with that. Let me ask. Let me ask them. Now, as I asked them, so in the chat, definitely um, drop if you agree with bold authenticity and creativity. Um, or should we do? Or should we do five? If because I'm seeing fearless. People are saying fearless. Chat. Adding fearless to the mix sounds solid. We could go with those four. Boldness, authenticity, creativity, and fearless. Four strong pillars to represent Lion's behavior. How's that sounding? So, okay, so All right. if it was five, if it was five, uh, what would you think it would be? I think people are saying, if you had to pick between confident and stealth, what would you do? If I had to choose between confident and stealth, I'd lean towards confident. It aligns well with the brand's emphasis on boldness and authenticity. Being confident empowers you to take action and make a strong impact, which is right in line with Lion's behavior. What do you think? So shout out to ChatGPT on that last segment to help us come up with the four core values, but we're still missing one. So we have bold, we have authentic, we have creative, and we have fearless. And I had left it up to the waiting list to see what the fifth one is. It was going to be between stealth and between confidence. And shout out to those who are on the waiting list, slight plug, please go in the description and sign up for the waiting list. They have the final say of what happens to this brand. And so it is, and I'm gonna put it on the screen right now, and so it is confidence that one based off the lion's behavior waiting list. So we got five core values. So if you're not part of the waiting list to help us build this brand, please join that. But now let's get into the product side, right? The hats. Now, my original idea was to come out with a hundred hats. I wanted to be limited. I wanted to be exclusive, but I didn't want it to just be a hat. I didn't want a typical, yo, Nikki's coming out with a hat. She wears a lot of hats. Okay, I do. But I wanted it to be something special. So I haven't seen many people put a utility to a physical product, right? Now, I saw it a lot when it came to NFTs, which we all saw what happened with that. That kind of just faded out and or a strong community still with that, right? So no offense to anybody who still rocks with NFTs. But the last real example that I saw that somebody did it amazing was the late great Nipsey Hussle, where you were able to scan the actual item and it came up with digital content. And so I'm super inspired by that. And I was like, what can that look like for just starting out with a hat? So I wanted to brainstorm about that with ChatGPT and let's see how that went. Oh, and with each of these steps, I want you to be in the comments and letting me know how it did. If it's like, Chat did that really good or nah, leave that alone. Let me know. Like, let's have some dialogue because I'm really creating this brand for you guys. And it has nothing to do with me. And it definitely has nothing to do with chat. But like I said, we needed a brainstorming buddy. So let me know how it does. Give me some more ideas as far as the hat as well. Like I like the VIP, but that sounds also kind of, I don't know, basic. What would make it unique that has happened, uh, that has happened, let's say, outside of people who's done this before? That would be a really good idea. All right. Let's hit it with some fresh vibes. How about we make those hats not just an accessory, but a key to exclusive digital content? Picture this. Each hat comes with a unique QR code inside the brim. Scanning it unlocks access to a members-only section on your website or app where they can find exclusive content, behind-the-scenes looks, or even early access to upcoming projects. It's low-cost but high engagement, giving people something special that connects them directly to the movement. How's that for outside the box? So 
QR code slash NFC tag kind of situation. Exactly. We could use QR codes or even NFC tags embedded in the hats. Tap your phone and boom, access to exclusive content, early releases, or members-only updates. It's a cool, tech-savvy way to make the hats a gateway to the Lions' behavior experience without breaking the bank. What you think? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, can we can we break down more about this exclusive content, let's say virtual event, so we can have this this broken down and see what the people want? Absolutely. For the exclusive content, we can offer a mix of behind the scenes videos, like the making of Lion's behavior, sneak peeks into upcoming projects, or early access to new content series. We could also do exclusive interviews or AMAs with you or other key figures in the brand. For a virtual event, we could host a live kickoff party for the challenge. Think interactive workshops, live Q&A sessions, or even a virtual networking lounge where folks can connect. The idea is to create an immersive experience that makes them feel like they're part of the movement, not just spectators. Thoughts? So now we're up to one of the most important parts to me, which is community, because without community, like you don't really have the heart of a brand. The reason why we know any of these brands that we love, any of these influencers that we love is because of the community that they have. So I want to make sure that I am properly doing this part right. And one of the things that I got from Primal Branding was the creed, like Something that people recite, something that people say, something that people stand for and is proud of it because it goes based off those core values that we created earlier on the video. So let's brainstorm about the creed. And of course, let me know how it does. The lion's behavior creed. Yeah. Those core principles that really define what the brand's all about. What's up with it? Now, my question and actually, uh, the chat thought some people thought it was too long. How long is a creed supposed to be? Creeds can vary in length, but they're usually concise, focusing on core beliefs or values. For a brand like Lion's Behavior, aim for something impactful yet easy to remember. Think of it as a powerful statement or a few short paragraphs that capture the essence of your brand's ethos. You're killing me how you get out of accent, though. Sorry about that. Let me stay in character. Let's keep the lion's behavior creed short and punchy, yeah? Just a few lines to make a strong impact and capture the spirit of the brand. Okay, hold on. So let me ask my chat real quick something. So chat, should we keep the length of the creed or should we shorten it? So, uh... Put K for keep or S for shorten. Okay. You let me know ba based off what, what chat said, it, it just depends on the values and making sure that it stays impactful. So, 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 so chat real quick, what would, what would make it, um, what would make the creed, uh, good if it was shorter? Like, can you make a shorter version of it? Um, you can say it in your regular accent. Cause I feel, I feel like you're, you're struggling with your accent, but can you say a shorter version of the 10 core values in a creed? That's very impactful. Sure thing. Here's a shorter version focusing on the core values. We are lion's behavior, bold in action, authentic in expression and unique in our craft. We move with confidence, strategically fearless, embodying strength and creativity. We stand proud, moving stealthily towards our legacy. How's that for an impactful, shorter creed? If y'all remember from the last video, that other creed, because we had 10 values, was long. So I'm glad that it shortened up. So let's get now into the challenge. It was important to have something that is not just like, okay, hey, we have a hat. Hey, we have a community. I really wanted to create something that is 
transformational. Now, let me tell you the problem, and you're going to hear about the problem later too, but one, behind the scenes people, creators, really need to focus on certain pillars, right? We have the mind, we have the body, we have the creative side, we have the learning side, and we have connections. And you're going to hear about that later. Reason why I wanted to create a challenge was because uh, I got burned out multiple times as somebody who is a creator and who works behind the scenes. And once I started putting some type of routine, it was game changing. But I had to put it for a certain season, a certain amount of time. And I wanted to figure out what is the 75 hard? What is the monk mode? What is our transformational challenges as people who are creators, as people who are behind the scenes? So I wanted to break down that idea with ChatGPT and let's see how it goes. You know the core values, right, of, of Lion's behavior. And I think a challenge that focuses uh, I, I, for the most part, how do we, I'll tell you the, the, the problem. The problem is how do we stay consistent and level up our, uh, creativity and let's say even, uh, mastering our craft, but as well as taking care of ourselves and avoiding burnout. Gotcha. So we need a challenge that's all about keeping it consistent, leveling up our creative game, mastering our craft, and dodging Where's your accent? burnout. Where's your accent? Re- Where's your accent? My bad, Nikki. Let me bring that back. We need a challenge that's all about staying consistent, up in our creative game, mastering our craft, and avoiding burnout. We going for a real New York vibe. Strong, creative, and resilient. You with me? I I am. I am. (laughs) All right. Let's map this out. We could structure the challenge with daily or weekly tasks that push creative boundaries, incorporate skill-building activities, and integrate self-care practices to prevent burnout. How's that sounding? I'm I'm not mad about that. So I have an idea where one is about like think about it like the 75 hard challenge or let's say the monk mode situation where there is something that they have to do for like self-care like whether it's like 10 minutes of prayer meditation journaling whatever it is they have to like get up and, and, and move. I wouldn't say necessarily work out, but move. Right. Um, then there's a certain time frame that they do to create something. And it doesn't necessarily mean like a post, but like create something within their job, create something within a hobby, create something maybe of social media stuff, but create something. And then, uh, learn something, right? So like 10 minutes, 20 minutes of being intentional with learning something every single day, right? How does that sound? That sounds fire. You're laying out a solid framework, daily self-care through meditation or journaling, getting the body moving to stay energized, a set time for creating in any area of life and dedicated time for learning something new. This challenge is gonna be a game changer for the community. Let's break it down into actionable steps and make it official. Well, I like, I also wanna talk about how does the core values that we had, whether the original or the new five can actually go with like, the body part, which is, you know, moving something of the body, the mind part, which is more of like, you know, the, you know, the meditation, the prayer, journaling side, the create side, right? And the learn side, like how does the core values go with that? All right. 
Let's connect the core values with each part of the challenge. Body movement. This ties into strength and resilience. Committing to daily movement showcases inner strength and the resilience to keep pushing forward. Wait, we didn't have no re- matter we what. didn't have resilience as one. We didn't have resi- I mean that's low key one of them, but that really wasn't the one that we labeled. You're right. My bad. Let's refocus. How about this? Body movement. This connects with strength and fearlessness. Embodying these values, we encourage participants to step out of their comfort zones and build physical strength. Mind, this aligns with authenticity. Through self-reflection, we promote being true to oneself, fostering inner growth and clarity. Create, here we see creative and unique in action. This encourages individuals to express their uniqueness and explore their creative potential in various aspects of their lives. Learn, this one reflects strategic and proud. Being strategic about learning new skills and knowledge helps in mastering one's craft, leading to a sense of accomplishment and pride in their journey. How's that aligning with your vision? I'm not mad about that. What do you think about this? Like there is also another part where it's connect. So the thing, like I'm an introvert, right? And so one of the things that would be really dope is to be intentional in this challenge to do like intentionally building a community or reaching out to somebody, right? Whether it is for like your business, reaching out to a client, reaching out to your audience, or even maybe from a personal standpoint of reaching out to friends and family, of just being intentional with like daily connections instead of just being, sometimes we could be too much to ourselves or too focused on something. So I think a, a connect part would be really dope for this challenge. What do you think? I love that idea. Adding a connect element fits perfectly. It aligns with the value of community and encourages stepping out of our comfort zones. By intentionally reaching out, we're building relationships, whether for business or personal growth, and reinforcing the idea that we're not alone in this journey. It's a great way to foster deeper connections and support networks. Let's integrate this into the challenge as a daily goal for meaningful connection. So, uh, okay, I'm glad you like the connection. It seems like uh, the people like the connection part too. So break down to me, perfect scenario, right? Like what, how would this challenge go? I'm thinking probably like my favorite number is three. So let's say either 30 or 33 days challenge, right? Um, How would this look like? What would be needed to create something of this challenge? And then of course, like, what would we call it? All right. For a 30 or 33 day challenge, we want it to be engaging and transformative. Here's how it could break down. Daily tasks, move, 20 to 30 minutes of physical activity, whether it's a workout, a walk, or some yoga. Mind, 10 minutes of meditation, prayer, or journaling. Create, spend 30 minutes creating something, be it content, a new idea, or a project. Four, learn. Dedicate 20 minutes to learning something new through reading, podcasts, or courses. Five, Connect. Make a meaningful connection each day, either by reaching out to someone in your network or engaging with your community. What you'll need. A daily tracker or journal to log progress. Access to a variety of resources for learning. A community platform or group chat for participants to share experiences. Name of the challenge? How about the lion's journey? It reflects the idea of embarking on a path of growth, strength, and connection 
embodying the essence of lion's behavior. How's that sound? Give me some more uh, examples of what the name could be. And, and if we think about what we're inspired by, like 75 Hard and, and Monk Mode, like give me some some things. And it doesn't always necessarily have to have lion in it, but if it does, cool. All right, let's think of some names that capture the spirit of growth, resilience, and focus inspired by those concepts. Pride Pursuit. Where's your accent? Reflecting where's your, both the where's your Ryan's accent? Pride. Hey, 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 where's your accent? My bad, Nikki. Let me get back on track. Here are some names with that New York flair. Pride Pursuit. Mixing the lion's pride with a commitment to bettering ourselves. Urban Ascend, a nod to climbing to new heights in the concrete jungle. Empire Mode, going all in, building our personal empires. Roar Resolution, tapping into our inner roar for daily growth. Five, Grit and Glory, celebrating the hustle and the victories along the way. Any of these catching your ear? One to ten, what do we think about that challenge? Did we just come up with a challenge, at least the foundation of a challenge on this live? I'm not going to lie. I like that. I, I like the challenge. I'm actually really excited, but it's, it's not up to me. It's about you, right? And like I said, the final say of what's going to be happening with Lions Behavior is for everybody who's going to be on the Lions Behavior waiting list. So you are going to be able to have the final vote of what we're doing what this challenge is going to look like what the hats are going to be doing and you're going to get access to the hats first so there's benefits of being part of this waiting list so i appreciate that but bare minimum let me know what is your thoughts about all of this right put it in the comments is ChatGPT all the way off is it really good and be honest like i really need you to be honest because i'm really doing this in real time like you can go check the last video. I already, I'll, I'll connect it again, right? You check the last video of us doing this. We're gonna make this into a series. So I'm really excited about this. I got some work to do. I gotta figure out how to make this all come to life. Uh, the hats are ordered, so I'm happy about that. We got some stickers because some of y'all on the list was saying we need stickers, so I got you. But we're not done. There's more brainstorming to go. There's more steps that we need to do. But until then, please go check out this next video.